time to integrate. This is the math, guys. Steve. Evaluate the integral of 2x plus 1 over x plus 1. So, how we evaluate this one is first by noticing this is a partial fraction decomposition type problem. Meaning, we need to split this fraction up, okay? So, if I take just the fraction part, right? So, 2x plus 1 over x times x plus 1. And my goal is to rewrite this as something over x plus something over x plus 1. In other words, split this one fraction up into two separate fractions. We need to find the a and b that make this true. And this will make it easier to integrate. So how we do that is by multiplying by the LCD. And so we multiply by x times x plus 1 on both sides. And things get to canceling. So here, the x's cancel and the x plus 1's cancel. So we're left with just 2x plus 1. Here, the x's cancel. And so we're left with a times x plus 1. And here, the x plus 1's cancel. And so we're left with b times x, or bx. So now a quick way to do this is to know that this has to be true for every value x, right? And so we can plug in convenient values for x. So say we plug in x equals 0, right? Then we would get 1 equals uh, a times 1. And then the b term goes away. And so we know a has to equal 1. Similarly, if we plug in a negative 1 for x, conveniently, right? If we plug in x equals negative 1, then we get 2 times negative 1 plus 1 equals. Well, the a term goes away, and so we get b times negative 1. In other words, this is negative 2 plus 1, so negative 1 equals negative b, thus b equals 1. So now we find the a and b that makes this true. So we see that 2x plus 1 over x times x plus 1 equals 1 over x plus 1 over x plus 1. And so integrating that is a lot easier, right? We get the integral of 1 over x plus 1 over x plus 1 dx. Again, a lot easier to integrate, right? This is just the ln of the absolute value of x, and this one using a quick use of is also ln of x plus 1. And then now that we're done integrating, don't forget that plus c. Always remember, math is everywhere.